Am I going into the city centre now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Find this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my plans to decide what you I can never see a red light like a deal with a headlight. I freeze up when I read up. So I barely have patience and you're a nature. Only the moment of complete us. Why you hate the work hard? The reason I never went to work hard. See a nine to five was so jive turkey. But when Thanksgiving came, that check did hurt me. All right, guys, how you doing? I'm in Barcelona. Yeah, I know, right? And um, there's a big event happening on Sunday. That's why we've come over. There's loads of Honda stuff happening. Well, not so much Honda stuff, but there's all the like, track event stuff. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know we've got friends with these Spanish guys. We were at the Nürburgring uh, last year. And uh, they're doing this track event on Sunday. They've invited us across. Josh is with me. He's got a car that he's uh, taking on track on Sunday, DC2. It's not quite built yet, we've got to finish off doing some jobs on it, replace some bushings and changing the suspension. We've got quite a few jobs to do on this DC2, that's probably going to be today or tomorrow. Um, this chap, Adri, just picked us up from the airport um, in this little EG. He let me drive from the airport to here, uh, that was an experience, driving in Barcelona, especially in a left-hand drive car. Cause, um, never really driven a left-hand drive car before, so that was, that was fun, yeah, definitely fun. Um, yeah, where, where we are now, I just want to start the video now because um, we're at. Um, well, that's, that's where we are. But this is Sergio's place. And Sergio's got a Super S2000. And he's really good friends with Enric, who had the S2000 that did a video on when I was at the Nurburgring this year, the white one. Um, but they've both gone quite extreme now with their S2000s, and there's loads of stuff changing. So the first car that I want to show you, I'm just going to do little videos, you know, here and there whenever something interesting happens. But today, the first thing that I want to show you is this S2000 because I've just walked in there and I look at the car and I thought, I've got to get the camera out and show everyone this because it's, it's something else. So let's go inside. Okay, so this is inside Sergio's workshop. We're actually a story up at the minute. You have to get up a little ramp down the bottom, but we're in here. And then hiding away in the back corner, oh, there's Sergio there. Hosh. All right. So this is, this is S2000, as you can see, they've gone a bit silly. So they were both running Super K24s when we were at the Nürburgring in April, but they've both come back, decided the S2000 needs more power, and they've both bolted turbos on. You can see it's all fab work. So this car, it's Friday today, this car should be on the track on Sunday. There's some massive tyres on it as well, these wheels. Obviously they're not C28s, but don't worry about it. This is uh, 285 tyres on the front, Federal RSRs, but just look at the size of them. Obviously need extended arches, just to try and get a little bit of clearance on them. They're really, I think they said they were at ET12 as well. So this is one of the cars that we're going to be seeing on track on Sunday. We've got a few more to look at on the way. There's, Adri's got his M3 sorted out as well, it looks a bit different to what it did in April. Enric's S2000 is completely different as well. Uh, these boys have been busy, <laughs> my cars have hardly changed over summer have they, but these lads have been proper busy, there's all sorts of changes going on. I think quite a few of the lads have got last minute jobs to do, should be able to get some uh, decent footage of all the last minute prep. Hectic roundabouts. So we're going right, right round, yeah? Yeah. Fucking hell, over the shot. <laughs> we go this way. Yeah, this way. Push. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a bit tight now. <laughs> Don't drive parallel park. Get some lock on. I think I'm going to be on the curb. We're in. Two more team.
Oh! <laughs> Are we in? Still not. Oh, am I still on the curb? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now. Turn right. You're not to tell me. Okay. And then you get it. Scratch on your eyes. Oh! oh. <laughs> Did you smash it? A little bit. It's alright. We're in Spain. Am I in there? That's got to be in, right? Okay, you got it. <laughs> now it's okay. Thanks. Congratulations. Cheers, Mom. Okay, skip forward a couple of hours, we're just at um, Adri's place, or his, his old place, it's going. Some familiar things going on in here. Oh, these guys like the UK cars. There's another one. You just about see it, can't you? The UK FN2. And this is a EUDM FN2 left-hand drive, which the parts are getting transferred across. I think this one's had a bump and they're just swapping it across. So this is an MB6 subframe, we've come to uh, rob some parts off it for the DC2. So we've got the lower control arms, um, well the, the wishbones, they're missing as you can see. Just look at how, <laughs> if you're from the UK, look at look, look at how clean this is like, underneath and all that. There's a bit of, bit of muck there and stuff, you know, a little bit of orange there, but if you've seen one of these in the UK, you know they're just fucking shit rotten. They, they never look anything half as good as this. Because it's starting a little bit there, but like everything's just really clean. No rust anywhere. As we've been driving through Barcelona today, I've seen quite a lot of old cars and you know, old BMW Z34, seen some EGs. Um, you know, just we've seen look quite a lot of 90s, early 90s cars. That you, know, you do see them in England every now and again, but they're always look hanging. They're always rotten. And the thing is with the cars of Barcelona, they're always you know they're not they're not clean by any means. They've always fucking got dinged and scratches all over, and they're all you know pretty battered on the outside, but underneath all the bolts and the subframes and the arms and everything like that. No rust. Right guys, we're going to head to the uh, unit now where the DC2 is. So from now on we're going to be probably working on cars and I don't know how well lit it's going to be in there but I'll do what I can for the video. I so say we've only got a few things to change but yeah, we've got just, just last minute prep really to get this car ready for Sunday so that Josh can drive it in the time attack event. Right, I'm driving again. So how far we have to go? What's the... Uh, about 15 kilometers. Right, is it going to be busy traffic or anything? No. Oh. Well, we've got an EG, so I gotta give you the camera. That's yep. good that it's not busy traffic. What's that? Yeah, got B tech. <laughs> not the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, man. Off. Where are we heading for? This one? Girona. Girona, Terrasse, Manresa. Yes. Right guys, so we've made it to the garage where the DC2 is. Now this is the DC2 that Josh is going to be driving on Sunday. You might recognise it if you've been on the internet before. This is Down Change's old DC2. So Enric bought this from Mike and uh, K swapped it, drove it back to Barcelona and that's how it is now. And at the minute it's a bit of a mixed match of parts, it's not really in a shape where you'd want to take it on track. Just a quick tour of the uh, garage while we're here, there's Enric's S2000, you'll have seen that on uh, the Nürburgring video back in April. There's two more S2000s here, you can see one's looking pretty pretty dead there. Looks looks. Still looks better than Josh's S2000, but you know, it's still looking. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the yellow one, who's the yellow one? That's the AGC, it is. So yeah, you will recognise this car if you watch Down Changes channel. Um, Mike had this car, it was a B series when Mike had it. And then the shell got passed on and then Enric ended up with it. So this engine was built from basically spares. That was at Josh's and a few bits added on by Enric's. So yeah, it's... Uh, Bit of a Frankenstein build, not in the 
traditional K-series sense. A lot of bits donated from the cars and things like that, you know, various things that they found around the uh, unit to, to make this case up complete. Right, so we've got a lot of things to change on this car. I'm going to give Josh an hand, I'll give you an update whenever we get something half decent done. You know, spend a few hours, shouldn't take too long, just bolt on bolt off stuff. Yeah. Alright. Okay, we're back. I've been gone for a, an hour or so. I was uh, helping Josh out on this, but then Adri asked for a lift to go and get his M3, so I've just taken him. So you might remember Adri's M3 from uh, the video where I, well, it was my first drive in the 92. Um, it was white before, so obviously he's had it painted. He's just had the car aligned today. He's going to be on Super Lap on Sunday as well, driving the M3. So while we've been gone, Josh has been busy working on the DC2. He's got Anton helping him. He's just getting the uh, lower control arms back on with the new coilovers. So he's had to swap the lower control arm on the back because the suspension that was on the car was fork type and it's the coilovers. It's actually my old yellow speed coilovers that are going on this now uh, from my DC2, but they're going to be eyelet. So he had to change the lower control arm. He's nearly finished it now. Can't see fuck all under there, but yeah, the back's pretty much done now, right? Yeah. Right, things are winding down a little bit here now. Sorry, I've not been doing too much videoing, but we've been dicking about and been out a few times and come back. Josh has not finished this just yet. He's got an alignment in the morning, so he's got a few little things left to do. Um, it's getting to about 10 o'clock at the minute, which is apparently dinner time around here. So we're going to go out and get some tea, come back, probably carry on, but. I think I'm going to stop the video here. We've had a lot of stuff going on today. Hopefully the video has been something worth watching. And uh, yeah, we've got a few more things to do in Barcelona. We've got the Super Lap on Sunday, but there's going to be a couple of videos as well. I've got a K20 DC2. You might have seen it on my Instagram. I've got a K20 DC2. And uh, yeah, I want to take that. There's some nice mountain roads around here. So I want to take it up there and go for a Raz. Why not, eh? So I've got my GoPros and stuff, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that at some point as well. But for today, that's enough. So, hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.